It has been a little over 48 hours of Chennai's IPL title win. It was their fifth IPL title. Uh, yellow fever is still continuing to grip uh, several parts of India and I'm not over uh, the, the celebrations yet. I'm joined at this moment by, by one of the Chennai men who was in the middle of uh, that fantastic season, Ambati Raidu, who in fact lifted the cup for uh, Chennai Super Kings. Thank you very much for joining Joining us on the broadcast at this hour, Ambati, have you recovered from the celebrations? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it was crazy, but uh, it was really emotional for all of us. I think it was a great night, and yeah, yeah definitely recovered now. Now, your inning, many say, was the turning point uh, and, uh, you know, people started believing at that moment that uh, the team could uh, go on to win the IPL title. Tell us, what was the reaction really at that point? I think uh, definitely it was crucial, but uh, I think every knock there was crucial by everybody. I mean, even Ajinkya before me was a very, very crucial knock and even Shivam playing till the end and those two sixes of Rashid from Shivam were crucial and, uh, and definitely Jereja as you know in the end and you know, especially the openers as well, uh, they have yes. done a tremendous job uh, throughout the season and yeah, I think overall it was a great team effort, that's, that's what I would say. Ambati, the team that was uh, playing you is Gujarat Titans, best team of the tournament, high stake battle, tell us what was your mental state when you were walking in uh, to bat? I mean, uh, see, at a moment like that, uh, you know, when you go in, it's mostly your instincts that take over. Mm -hmm. Then you know, you don't, you don't actually think that much. You just see the ball and react, and uh, you, know, you rely on all your practice, your experience, and everything to come to the fore at that point. Yeah. Ambati, let's get to the moment of the win. Uh, Jareja and Dubey in the middle. Dhoni in a Zen mode in the dugout. We often don't see him sitting in the dugout. Uh, where were you and uh, what state were you in? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was right behind him. And uh, actually, we were changing seats when we were not getting boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> hoping to change the luck. And, uh, you know, it was crazy. I mean, I couldn't, couldn't see that. We all were shutting our eyes. We were just... <laughs> we were just watching the game. I mean, we, we really didn't know what to do because once you're not in control, not on the ground, you're actually way more tensed. And, uh, True that. Yeah, by the way, Amdava dressing room being so far up, so everybody had to sit in the dugout. Let me ask you any superstition that uh, you guys have. You, you mentioned that you were changing seats and you were trying uh, to sit at different uh, stations in, in, in the dugout. No, I mean there's no superstition as such. I think it's just the calm of the uh, calm of the dressing room that you know is better in a way where we can watch the game, assess it, and uh, and actually you know go out when once we go out, it's actually more instinctive. But once you're in the dugout, you you can be distracted by uh, many many things. Tell us about picking up the trophy. What conversations did Dhoni have with you? That led you and Jadeja to go up to the podium with him. Uh, I think, I mean, before the ceremony, he came and uh, told me and Jadu that uh, he wants us to join him in lifting the trophy. And uh, he thinks it's, uh, you know, it's the right avenue in the moment to do it mm -hmm. for both of us. And yeah, I think it was really special on his part. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think that has ever happened. And you know, that's, that's the person he is and the person the world knows who. So, I think, I think uh, overall it is his gesture, yeah. Very beautiful gesture and as you mentioned, it has never happened before. Now, um, your career coincided with Mahender Singh Dhoni's in 2018 when you joined CSK. Was it him and the culture that, create, that he had created at Chennai that propelled you? Yeah, I mean, I was I was really really happy, you know, to have been picked by CSK in 2018, uh, especially coming from a very successful franchise like Mumbai. Right. You know, I had to go through an injury that whole year, and uh, hmm. you know, CSK actually called me before the season, asked me if I would be fit for the coming IPL, and I was like, yes. So they were like, you know, pretty interested, and I was actually very very happy because it was like, uh, you know, coming back home, even though I was never there. 
you know that that's the sort of a feeling that i had once i you know, came to csk and uh, from then on uh, you know it's just that i felt so comfortable being mm-hmm. there and it's just the environment the dressing room atmosphere i think overall really really now, great you had a massive season in 2018 uh, 600 plus runs was it the comfort uh, that csk gave you that led you to return a favor yeah i mean you know it's the comfort and also you know my uh, what do you say you know something to you know give back to csk in terms of their belief because previously actually a year and a half i was out due mm-hmm. to an injury and you know generally franchises they just have a memory of 10 days so you know somebody who would look out for a player who was injured and mm-hmm. you know you know actually planning a comeback for him and it was special and i wanted to give something back to mm-hmm. csk as well Very interesting. Now many say Ambati that you are a lucky masker. Three titles for Chennai, three titles earlier for Mumbai. How do you react to that? I mean there's nothing lucky about my cricketing career <laughs> anyway but but yeah I think uh, you know it's just that these two teams have been blessed with really good team players more than you know individual stars that's always been the case. So if you look at uh, even MI I don't think they have had many orange caps and purple caps in their uh, no seasons and you know, still they have won a lot of trophies and even with csk there are a lot of players who go out there and you know do everything for the team not not just from 2018 but from a very long time and i think that's the culture that has actually i think made both the teams really successful here now tell us about the youngsters you played with this season some of the you know brilliant uh, uh, next gen players that we saw like pathirana dubey and even seniors like ajinkya rahane you know who turned around their careers uh, this season yeah, i think uh, i mean pathirana definitely is a special talent and uh, just hope he looks after his body you know so that he plays that's very important uh, yeah plays for a long time for csk and as well as uh, sri lanka and uh, i think dubey definitely has been extremely special this season and he has always had the talent and i think my boy i for talent is really really you know great and uh, you know he really believed in dubey even in the last season mm-hmm. and this season he has come out uh, and played like a champion and i think uh, it is time that india also picks him for t20s and you know i am I'm sure he'll do great for India as well. And coming to Ajinkya, I think uh, he has always been a brilliant, uh, great batsman. And it's just a matter of time where he, you know, he in his mind, it's not anybody else, he in his mind mm. just wanted to express himself and play play the way he can play. And I think that's what he did this season and he was, he was tremendous. Yes. Perhaps he gave the fans a... Uh, Uh, a view of the fact that he can be a 360 degree player too now ambati i take you back to a moment of wonder the 0.12 second reflexive action of ms dhoni you were at sweeper cover did you see it happen what was the reaction of the team like when he stumped shubman gill yeah, yeah, yeah i mean uh, i mean we, i i was at uh, sweeper and uh, sweeper covers and yeah <laughs> it was it was like a flash but uh, we knew that something has happened i think he removed his leg or something but in, in the replay he was he was so far out and that stumping was so fast i think uh, at this age he doing what he is doing i think he is it really special i think is once in a lifetime kind of a cricketer i think india should really celebrate him at 42 ms dhoni with a heavily strapped knee goes on to win a title what lessons do the young cricketers and for that matter you know all of us uh, take from uh, his life as a cricketer so i think uh, he thinking beyond himself i mean thinking for everybody i think he thinks even for india the whole population he thinks he thinks beyond himself i think that's his greatest attribute and at at this age uh, doing what he is doing is incredible i mean i don't think anybody else could have done what he is doing and and not not just playing but playing so well i think uh, performing so well mm-hmm. is just magic ambati let me ask you about you know the celebrations after the win did you guys go to chennai with the cup what happened we of course know that uh, you know you guys came back to the hotel at about 5 o'clock in the morning then cut a cake tell us take us through all that happened no i think uh, csk being csk it was uh, 
very quiet and uh, very that you know too. close yeah. to our affair and uh, you know we're not we're not a very loud and a flashy team so you know that's that's, that's how even our celebrations were and uh, see i wouldn't say muted but it was it was all a very very happy atmosphere reflection on what went on in the season and you know it was quite emotional and uh, I think that's what makes CSK special. I think uh, we are quite an emotional team. Yeah. Abati, apart from the win, could you talk to us about another high point in the tournament that made you believe that the tide was turning towards CSK and it could indeed turn out to be your season? I mean, uh, I think definitely the the uh, win against mumbai in uh, chennai okay. i think was uh, one game where we really felt that okay we are in we are in this season i mean we are you know in for the real deal uh, i think from then on uh, i think maybe the kkr game was a little you know a dampener so to mm. say but uh, it actually fired us up to go to delhi and you know win win a must win game and, and from then on we knew that uh, if we do our basics right and we do our jobs well i think we are in with a really good chance but we were always scared of gti with the way they were playing this season we really didn't want them to come to the finals but you know we had to face them especially especially their bowling it was unbelievable ambati now that you are retired you retired after the final game what next for you no i think i'm just taking some time off now and uh, you know maybe maybe in a few days time i would you know there are a few things that i'm considering but uh, yeah after a few days yeah, definitely well you rest recuperate and may the yellow love continue for long thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast at this hour with that a quick break on the show more on the other side stay tuned <laughs>